Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the best day ever because I officially get to start decorating for Christmas. I love Christmas, I love decorating for it, and this year I decided that I'm going to decorate my office because if you don't know, I work from home and I spend so much of my time in here. I just want everything to be so happy and festive and in the Christmas spirit. I'm not sure if you saw my last video or not, but I went to Target and bought a whole bunch of like decor and new things for my office. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving a holiday decor haul and everything that I picked up for my office. So if you are looking for some good like home decor inspo or just feel like watching a holiday decor haul, then this video is gonna be perfect for you. My arm is like on fire right now from holding this camera and my legs are numb. So I think that's a sign to get finished with the intro and into the haul. Okay, so like I mentioned, I went to a variety of stores and I feel like I picked up a lot. I'm not like quite sure yet what my vibe and like style is going to be so who knows I might end up having to return some things and pick up more of something else. I feel like I don't really know 100% what I need until I start decorating and just like seeing how everything looks decorated. Um, so I just wanted to mention that, but now let's get into the haul. So I'm going to start this off with Target because I feel like that's where I got majority of my stuff. The first thing that I picked up was this throw pillow that says Mary. This is from the Hearth and Hand line. I love the Hearth and Hand line. They have so many good, cute things. I will say that sometimes I feel like their line is a little too farmhouse for me, so I definitely have to be like picky or choosy. I did just say I don't know exactly like what my style is, but I I know that I'm not too big in the farmhouse decor. I do like it. I just don't want it to be like farmhouse threw up all over my office. So I try to keep it a little minimal and more like traditional and transitional, I think is the word that I actually like to use. I don't know. I'm not a home decor person, but I'm pretty sure that transitional is actually like the correct term for my style. So I picked up this pillow. It just says Mary. I love the neutral. And I picked up this one too to go with it. I thought they would look cute on my couch behind me, so I'll just remove those pillows most likely and use these instead. I love this one too because I feel like not only is it like kind of Christmassy because it has like more of that like textured sweater material, but I also think it will look good on the couch like all winter long and it's also very versatile. So. I love this pillow. I'm a big throw pillow person. Okay, so the next thing that I actually got from Target is this faux tree. This is also from the Hearth and Hand line. It was $14.99. I really love like the fake stone pot that it comes in and I just thought it looked really cute. I'm a big fan of trees. I feel like I have so many of them um, like from my decor from previous years, but I could not say no to this one because I just really, really liked it. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up from Target was this garland. It is like a six feet garland and it has like the holly berry, pine cones, and then just the normal Christmas greenery. It was $24.99. I wonder if it was also from the Hearth and Hand line. And I just thought that this would look really cute like underneath my TV just for a little pop of holiday spirit. I don't really have anything to go there. And I obviously don't have like a mantle or anything like that in my office. So really the only place I feel like I can put garland like this is under my TV. And I think it's gonna look really cute. If you have a mantle or something like that, definitely pick that up because I think it would look really, really good. I also picked up these bottle brush trees from Target. They actually light up. I haven't really played with the settings on it yet. I'm not sure if they like flicker or stay lit or what, but I thought that they were really cute. And I kind of mentioned like, I want everything to be very like traditional um, and kind of like neutral in a sense, but I don't mind like little pops of color. I really like these bottle brush trees. I think they were sitting in the bag too long. They're like slanted, so I'm gonna have to play with them. But I thought that they would look cute like on the side of my TV, on the mantle, or maybe on some shelves that I have in my office. I'm not really sure yet. I think they were $15 if I remember right. But Target has so many bottle brush trees that 
I honestly think I'm gonna have to go back and get more just like little miniature ones and ones of different colors and sizes just just because I think that they are so cute and they have them for a very reasonable price the next thing that I picked up was this faux plant I love Target's faux plants I have them like all over my office and bedroom and bathroom and just like literally in every room of the house I get the threshold brand ones and they're only five dollars which is like a really really good deal not sure where I'm gonna put it yet but I know it's gonna look really cute I also did end up getting this gold deer I am not sure why I was like so attracted to it and I'm honestly not sure how well it goes with my decor so I might have to return it I don't know but I just like really loved it and I could not say no to him like he was just calling my name I actually went to Target didn't buy it and then I went back to Target and bought it because I couldn't stop thinking about it and I don't know I just thought it was so cute it was $15 and they do have like other little deer like this that are sitting down and then they also have this guy who's standing up I also picked up a couple stockings they were $15 each and I really like these ones because they're like very neutral but they are embroidered I think the detail and the design is super cute and fun I got them to hang from my like console table underneath the TV I just thought that they would be cute there I'm not sure if I'm looking at the console table right now and I'm not sure if they're gonna be too big or how it's really gonna look I feel like I thought it was taller than it actually is so I'm not sure but I really liked these stockings they're the studio McGee brand and even if I don't hang them there maybe I'll find a different spot for them or I can always keep them for future areas that aren't in my office the last thing I got from Target was actually from the dollar spot it's this red throw blanket it was only five dollars and I don't necessarily plan on using this blanket it does feel a little bit like on the thinner side I actually bought it because I have these two baskets underneath my TV that are black I thought it would be cute draped in the basket just for like a pop of color and to kind of tie in like the bottle brush trees and the little pops of red that I have so I'm super excited about this and it's amazing that it was only five dollars I think they also had them in white in maybe black I remember correctly I'm pretty sure I put a clip in my target shop with me so definitely check that out if you're curious and then the next thing that is new that I got for this year's Christmas season is actually from home goods and it is a little farmhousey in my opinion um, but it's this sign that says may your days be merry and bright definitely farmhouse style but I have a shelf in here where I have a photo of like the Cubs stadium <laughs> and I thought that it would be cute to swap that out with a sign that was a little bit more Christmassy and let me tell you I had the hardest time finding one like seriously every store I went to they didn't have ones that were like big enough or that were in the right shape that I needed or that had a saying that I liked this was honestly the only one and I was a little hesitant because I felt like it was kind of farmhouse but I thought if everything else you know wasn't farmhouse it would help tone it down a little bit like I said I do have decorations from the previous year so I'm just kind of curious to see how everything meshes together and what I need to pick up or return and all that because I definitely want a theme and I don't want it to be like decorations just threw up all over the place.